I challenge you to the ultimate air hockey tournament. You're on, though it's not much of a challenge. Just last time, I beat you five times in a row. After this, let's hit the go-karts. You're on. I can't wait to, to. Uh, 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 uh. Nathan, something's wrong with David. Oh, man, I've seen this happen before. Come on, we need to get him out of here. A few minutes later. Feeling better, little bro? Yeah, you had us worried. I'm sorry, guys. That place was just too much for me with my autism. It's... it's hard to explain. Perhaps I could help with that. Explanations are what I do, according to all my social media bio pages. Whoa! Axon of the Medikids? Cool! This day has gone from awesome to not so awesome and all the way back to mega awesome. Everyone is different and special in their own way. For example, I'm good at making robots and tacos. What about you? I got voted as having the tidiest kid's bedroom in America. I'm good at boxing. We're guitar legends. Awesome. Now some people are born with a developmental disability called Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD. ASD covers a wide range of symptoms and disability levels. This means it affects different people in different ways. Just like we're all different and special in our own way, people with ASD are all different to each other too. What's hard for me is that most people don't know I have ASD just by looking at me, so they think I'm just being weird. Most people with ASD look like everyone else, they just act differently. ASD affects the way they behave, learn, communicate, and interact with others. Some people with ASD are severely challenged and need a lot of help. Others aren't so challenged and only need a bit of help. When I was little, I had to go to a special school for extra help, but as I got older, I was able to go to a regular school. Some people with ASD are gifted. This means that they have a special talent or skill, but they might still need help with some parts of their lives. One in 100 people in the world has autism. One in 68 people born in the USA has autism. That's more than 3.5 million people. So, like, who gets autism in the first place? Excellent question. The answer is anybody. Anybody can get autism, but it is more likely to happen in boys. For every girl with autism, there are four boys who have autism. I heard the doctor talking to our mom about how more and more people seem to have autism. That's true, though scientists aren't sure why. It could just be because we're now better at recognizing autism. Signs of ASD usually start before the age of three and last for a person's whole life. ASD can affect lots of different things, like how you communicate. Some people with ASD can't speak at all. Some can, but can't hold a conversation. Others have a difficulty understanding what people say. Speaking clearly, simply, and even drawing pictures can help them to understand you. Mom said when I was little, I'd just scream when I was upset or unhappy instead of telling her what was wrong. Someone with ASD might not know you are angry if you're shouting. You might have to tell them exactly what you're thinking and feeling. They might also find it difficult to read facial expressions or tones of voice and to understand jokes, sarcasm, and figures of speech. It's like when I told you it was raining cats and dogs outside and you thought I meant actual cats and dogs. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I was super disappointed to find out it was just water. People with ASD process sensory information differently. Sensory information is all the smells, tastes, sights, sounds, vibrations, and touch that we get from our environment. Speaking in a normal voice might be heard as shouting or as a whisper. Many people with ASD are oversensitive to some information. For example, they might cover their ears when they hear a noise because it sounds so loud to them that it hurts their ears. They might also be undersensitive to some information. For example, they might not hear sounds as loudly as we do. Lots of people with ASD complain of sensory overload. This is when they get too much information, like in a crowded place. That's what happened to me today. All the sounds and lights, it was just too much. That sounds awful, David. Yeah, sorry that happened. Lots of people with ASD find one way to cope is stimming or self-stimulating behavior. This means that doing repetitive actions such as arm or hand flapping, finger flicking, rocking backward and forward, jumping, spinning, head banging, looking at objects from the corner of their eyes, or running back and forth. Yeah, ever since David was little, he'd flap his arms and hum when things got too much. These actions make people with ASD feel better for lots of reasons. Sometimes it helps them deal with stress and anxiety by giving them something they control. 
and sometimes it's just because it feels good. For me, it helps me to focus and block out all the stuff that's overloading me. It's common for people with ASD to have strong fascinations with one thing, such as trains, dinosaurs, or a particular movie. They might really enjoy talking about their special interest. No kidding! Get this guy started on anything, planes or trains, and he'll go on forever. What can I say? When I like something, I really like it. People with ASD often prefer to have a routine so they know what's going to happen each day. This might be always traveling to school the same way or always eating the same foods. Any change to routine can be really difficult for a person with ASD. So that's why David eats the same lunch every day. How did the doctors know David had ASD? It's tricky because ASD affects everyone differently and there's no quick test to confirm it. Basically, if you show signs of ASD, a team of health professionals and experts will observe you. They will also ask your parents lots of questions to determine if you have ASD and how best to help you. Is there a cure for ASD? Will it ever go away? ASD is a lifelong diagnosis with no cure. But there are lots of ways to help people with ASD live happy and healthy lives. Your healthcare team will figure out the best ways to help. I've always wondered why David got ASD in the first place. Great question. Unfortunately, we don't really know why, but doctors are working really hard to find out. What we do know is that ASD often runs in families, so you might be more likely to have ASD if a close family member also has it. People with ASD sometimes have other conditions too, like gastrointestinal problems, sleep disorders, and epilepsy. You guys all look so worried. Look, yes, I have ASD. And yes, sometimes I have to do things a bit differently, but that hasn't stopped me from being able to have fun. David's right. Kids with ASD may need to go to special schools, take special classes, have a classroom assistant, or even be taught at home. None of that means they can't live happy lives. ASD doesn't just affect the person who has it, but the whole family. It can be especially hard on the brothers and sisters of a child with ASD. Yeah, sometimes I get jealous of all the extra time mom and dad would spend with David. I'd also get angry that he wouldn't get in trouble for doing the things that would get me in trouble. Big time. But as I got older, I realized David wasn't doing any of these things on purpose. He needed more help, so mom and dad needed to spend more time with him. It didn't mean my parents loved me any less. Besides, I love this guy. Hey, not the hair. It's hard work looking this good. Remember, you can always talk to your parents about how you are feeling. Thanks, Axon. It's so cool to better understand David's ASD. Yeah, I feel like now I know how to be a better friend to him. That's nice, guys, but I feel like I was a bad friend. We were supposed to play video games and ride go-karts. The day isn't over yet. I have an idea that I think everyone will like. This is awesome! Well, you like planes and your friends like rides. So I thought, why not ride in a space plane? Woohoo! <laughs> Go faster! Things just went from mega awesome to ultra super mega awesome. Today is a good day.